I want to do something a little different for December. I want to offer you guys the opportunity to ask me almost anything. What I'm going to try to do is answer one or two questions a day for the month. So all you have to do is leave a question down below. Keep your questions rather general. If you had a question that you wanted to get answered, leave it down below and maybe I can answer it. Hey, yo, this is Dash. <laughs> Get ready. Hey yo, this is Dash, and here we go with another quick response to an Ask Dash question. So this one comes from my man Victor. Everybody's my man, everybody's my friend, everybody's my homie or my guy. So get over it. That's just what I say, okay? But my man Victor says, the timing of this question is interesting. I know you don't like to do specifics, but what the hell? You are Mr. Thermometer Man, so here goes. Let's say you're going to be putting a brisket into a Cambro hole, not sliced after a cook. Do you have any idea how much you would let it rest before placing into the Cambro so it doesn't overcook like a temp? And the short answer is no. I know that's not what you wanna hear, Victor. So here's the long answer. To be completely honest, I let the briskets cool for at least an hour, maybe two. My preference is two hours that I let them cool. Now, one of the things that I don't do is, if this is something or if this is, let's say this is for an event that I'm cooking in advance for, I will cut, cook the whole brisket, let it cool on the counter for two hours, take the jus off of the brisket or out of the brisket and refrigerate it. That's it, no going into the Cambro. Now, if I'm having, let's say I'm cooking and I'm done cooking at 6 a.m. for an event or for something that is, well, I, I wouldn't be done that early. Let's say the brisket is done at noon for an event that's gonna happen at four, okay? So what I would then do is I would let the brisket cool for an hour and a half, two hours, slice it up, then put it, back, put it into the oven to help bring it back up to temperature, then I put it in the Cambro, I'm on my way. So what I think you fail to realize is I don't use Cambros as coolers for storage. I use Cambros only in transport, that's it. Other than the odd time when I have food prepared and ready to walk out the door, I'll use the Cambros and I'll load the Cambros because if I have, so let's say I'm warming some food up in batches, I can put the food into the Cambro warm and then transport it on to where I need to where I need to go. So hopefully that answers your question, Victor. Again, I don't use Cambros as hot storage for when food is done. I use Cambros solely as transportation storage or for transportation only. So again, hopefully that answers your question. If you have a question, feel free to leave it down below. I think I'm almost at my number as far as answering these questions. So I might not be able to answer it in a video form. I might just, I might just have to reply to you. But nonetheless, don't let that stop you from asking your question. If it's good enough, maybe I will film a video response and we'll put it out later. Thank you guys so very much for asking. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you guys so very much for commenting. commenting and I'll see you in the next one.